Hello everybody, it's me Charlotte and today I thought I would show you guys how to make a yarn tassel. Um, a week ago I showed you guys how to make a pom-pom so I thought why not show you how to make a tassel. Um, to make a really fancy, fancy tassels like, I, like what I like to call them, I would use that really nice thread, the really shiny thread that you can get at the craft store. Those make really nice fancy tassels. But today I'm going to show you a yarn tassel, which a lot of people like to add to their, um, you can add them to wraps, shawls, some add them to scarves. They're really popular on like throw blankets. You can do multicolor, you can do one color, you can do use different types of material, different types of yarn, play around with it. But there are a million probably videos on YouTube on how to make a tassel. Um, this is just my way. I'm not saying it's the right way, the best way, the most perfect way. It's probably not. It's just the way I do it, so I thought I would share it with you guys. Um, so before we get into it, though, real quick, I want to say thank you for everyone who has subscribed to my channel. Thank you for liking, commenting, and sharing my videos. It means so much to me. Um, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do so now. And if you'd like to follow me on Facebook, that link will be in the description below. All right, I'm going to show you guys how I make a yarn tassel. Like I said, it's maybe not be the best way. You may have a better way. Um, but this is the way I do it, so I thought I would share it. Okay. What you're going to need, obviously, is some yarn. And that's pretty much it. Yarn and something to wrap around, you know, something to wrap your yarn around. I chose a DVD case just because I think everyone probably has a DVD case. I'm just going to go out there and say that. I honestly think everyone probably has a DVD case of some sort. So, it's a nice size, you don't have to cut cardboard, nothing like that. You just grab a DVD case, and you want to start wrapping your yarn. I placed it here, I'm going to wrap it around. I would say, depending on how fluffy you want your tassel to be, is how much yarn you want to wrap. I'm probably going to do it around 20, 30 times, so, let's see, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 18, 19, 20. I know you guys probably wanted to watch me just sit here and wrap yarn around a DVD case, right? Probably not. I'm sorry. I've lost count, so I'm just going to wrap it a few more times. All right, we'll say that's good. So I've wrapped it. I'm going to stop right about there. Make sure that it's at the bottom here. I'm going to cut it. All right, now, what I do is I slide it off the DVD case, and it slides off really easy, so that's always a bonus. Put that away. Now I have my loops. See, just like wound yarn. I'm going to sit it down like so. I'm going to take another piece of yarn, cut it. I'm going to stick it through the yarn. Now what I'm going to do is, I don't really like to see knots that much, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do like a surgeon's knot. I'm going to wrap this twice, pull it a little bit, and then make another knot. And I'll show you why I did that. Okay, pull it tight, it ain't going nowhere. Now I'm going to go ahead and turn this so that knot is inside like so. So you don't see a knot. I don't like seeing knots. Like I said guys, I may be doing this like the long, hard, complicated way, but I like this way. It's the way I learned how to do it, so I'm going to keep doing it this way. thought I would share it with you. So I'm going to cut another piece of yarn. I know, so much yarn. I'm going to lay it down like this. I'm going to lay this, my tassel, my unfinished tassel, right in the middle of it, like so. Bring up my ends, and I'm going to crisscross them, pulling a little tight. Not too tight, because you don't want it too bunchy. And then I'm going to flip it over, and I'm going to crisscross again, trying to keep the threads straight and nice. Flip it back over, crisscross them one more time, and see how I'm trying to keep the threads like even and nice. Cross them back over. 
Now I'm going to tie my knot. So again, tie a surgeon's knot, and you don't want to tie too tight because it will bunch it up. You just want to pull it a little bit. It's probably be easier if you cut a little bit longer piece of yarn so you're not sitting here fooling around with these little teeny tiny ends. Okay. So then I have that, and now I'm going to cut off this, the little extra bits. Okay. Now, if you want to really get technical, because I don't like to see knots, so you can actually stuff that knot, hide it underneath those threads in the back. I will consider this the back of the tassel. But you can kind of conceal them under there so they won't be seen. Okay. Now we're back to this. Now all we have to do, we have two more things we need to do. We need to take our loop that we tied together, pull it tight. I like to twist it. I'm going to make a knot in my loop here. Now this part can be a bit challenging, and like I said, I may be doing this completely the wrong way, guys. So. If I am, I'm sure I know someone will be telling me about it. So feel free, tell me if I'm doing it wrong or if there's an easier, better way to do it. I like to pull that a little tight. So that kind of makes it like the little, see how it bunches up a little bit? Now you will have a little knot up here, but I don't think anyone will notice that. And then all you have left to do, guys, is trim your bottom loops. So you just take your scissors and cut your bottom loops, like so. And then you have a tassel, like that. And there's our tassel. And you can trim up the ends if you want to make it nice and even. Pretend like you're cutting hair. I don't know, guys. <laughs> I'm tired. It's late. But I wanted to get a video out to you guys, so I thought I would show you guys how to make a tassel. It's fun. They're fun to add to little projects. You don't have to trim the bottom, but if you want to. And there you have it, your little yarn tassel. Again, you guys can make this really, really nice and fancy with those nice, silky, like, shiny thread yarn stuff. I don't know what it's called. I think it's just called thread. But uh, that makes really nice tassels, too. But that's how I make a tassel. Um, again, maybe not the best way, maybe the hardest way. I'm not sure. Um, but if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Um, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do so now. And if you'd like to follow me on Facebook, that link will be in the description below. Um, if you guys want to see more videos like this, let me know in the comments below. And also, if I did this wrong or if there's a better, easier way, let me know in the comments below too, please. All right, guys, until next time, I hope you all have a super wonderful, fabulous day, and happy crafting. Bye.